So Blanchet really marks himself out here from the other candidates. While they're concentrated working on their notes, he's strolling up and down, he's fixing his watch. Even before that pre-debate, he was kind of warming up like a runner on the sidelines. It seems like he's already not too engaged in the same way that the rest are. And we notice that throughout the debate as well. It's only often when it's a francophone issue that comes up that he really gets animated and elevated about the debate. So we're looking at Trudeau's blink rate here. In fact, it's half the rate of Sings. That could denote that for Trudeau, he's under less stress, less pressure, feeling less anxiety, and Singh is feeling it way, way more. Now, is that because there's more pressure for them personally, or maybe it's just that Trudeau is way more used to this kind of situation, this kind of pressure? But it was consistent across the whole debate. Trudeau, really low anxiety, and Singh, the highest of everybody. So on this Afghanistan question here, O'Toole really assured, really clear, very symmetrical in his gestures. When we go to Trudeau, more asymmetrical, more destabilized by it. The same with Singh, more asymmetrical and some shoulder shrugs going in there. I think there's a little bit of stress and anxiety around siding with O'Toole on this one. So, O'Toole here, strong and others a little more, you know, asymmetrical, a little more undecided around what they're saying. So here, Trudeau versus O'Toole on climate. Again, O'Toole, clear, symmetrical, comes down what we call the wheel plane in a bit of more of a pleading gesture. My preference is for more symmetry and bigger gestures. This can look a little more prayer-like, but, uh, you know, Trudeau starts to become asymmetrical again. The pressure is on him. He starts to do a wipe gesture towards O'Toole to wipe out what he's saying. It's almost like a jazz hands gesture to say, you're finished, you're done. And then a pinch gesture and starts pushing down to try and pin back the message back under Trudeau's control. So Paul hits a great score on Blanchett here by literally acting out for the audience the support of her jaw drop there as he was talking on the indigenous issues. He feels the hit on that and he has to plead for time from the moderator. Now time is non-verbal as well. So that non-verbal hit on him around, I can't believe what you said, causes him to have to plead for something non-verbal and conceptual. I just haven't had enough time. It's just not fair, he says.